Hello, I'm Dr. Andrew Smith, a radiologist and chief of body CT at the University of Alabama at Birmingham, and I'll be talking to you about how you can increase productivity and clinical decision support through deep learning CT image processing. Here are my disclosures. The most relevant is that I'm a speaker for Algo Medica, makers of Pixel Shine. In this lecture, I will discuss how deep learning reconstruction, or DLR, of CT images can be used to improve image quality, extend the life of a CT scanner, and lower radiation dose. I will also discuss how DLR of CT images can potentially be used to improve diagnostic accuracy and increase productivity. Artificial intelligence is a broad field that refers to incorporation of human-level intelligence into machines. This technically does not exist yet, though I and others often use the term AI more broadly. Machine learning is a subfield of AI that uses computer algorithms that improve automatically through experience. Deep learning is a further subset that uses neural networks to rapidly accomplish complex tasks. Let me show you a complex task where deep learning can help. Let's specifically talk about deep learning reconstruction, or DLR, of images. Here we have a full exposure photograph of an F-18 jet in flight with mountain terrain in the background. This is a high quality image with low noise that is generated using routine image processing techniques. If we only use half the exposure and the same routine image processing techniques, we obtain a low quality image with high noise. It is much harder to see the jet with the high noise, which are the speckles on the image. Deep learning reconstruction is a new method to process these images and extract or remove the noise. This results in a high quality image with low noise, even though it was started with only half the exposure. How could this be used to our advantage in CT imaging? Let's do a Where's Waldo thought experiment, where Waldo represents a small, early stage tumor that is curable and potentially detectable on high quality CT images. Let's say your mom has abdominal pain and weight loss for a few months and you advise her to get a CT scan. She goes to one of your facilities. You have an older scanner at that facility and it's not capable of giving her a full dose scan. Maybe mom's a smidge overweight. She is scanned on an older scanner with half the radiation exposure needed since that scanner does not have a high tube current and cannot generate enough MA. She gets an image like this with low quality due to high image noise. The radiologist is asked, where's Waldo? Is there an early stage potentially curable cancer on these CT images? Is Waldo even in this image? Your radiologist would have to spend a lot of time looking at these images and might miss an important finding. However, your facility had a smart administrator that installed deep learning reconstruction, DLR software for CT image reconstruction. The DLR is applied to your mom's images and the radiologist views high quality CT images with low noise. She actually was exposed to less radiation and still gets this high quality image. It's not easy, but the radiologist finds Waldo. Here he is. He is also here on the low quality image. Imagine how much harder and how much more time it would take to find Waldo on this low quality image. Why is this? The low quality image has high noise. DLR is able to remove that noise and produce the high quality image. Let's change the thought experiment and say that your 12 year old son or daughter has abdominal pain concerning for appendicitis. Let's say he or she went to the newest facility that has a new CT scanner. She or he could be scanned with a full radiation dose to make the diagnosis of appendicitis. But radiation is harmful, especially to pediatric patients. Why not scan with half the radiation dose? If you did that on your newest scanner, you would get low quality images with high noise, even with iterative reconstruction. But you could use DLR to reduce the noise and regain the high image quality. It would be easy to see the appendicitis, and this pediatric patient was exposed to half the amount of radiation. Let's look at some real life CT images and examples. DLR can be used to improve CT image quality. This head CT has high image noise, despite using hybrid iterative reconstruction. DLR reduces the image noise and improves image quality. We can now see the gray-white junction better, which is critical for stroke detection. This cardiac CT has high image noise, 
despite using iterative reconstruction. DLR improves the contrast to noise ratio and markedly improves image quality. It's much easier to detect a cardiac abnormality on these high quality images. This chest CT has high image noise, despite using current reconstruction methods. DLR reduces image noise and improves image quality. This could improve diagnostic accuracy. This abdominal CT has high image noise, despite using iterative reconstruction. DLR reduces image noise and markedly improves image quality. These are actually thin slice images, but they look amazing. This obese patient underwent CT imaging on an older CT scanner, and the tube current was maxed out at 579 MAS. The images have high noise and low quality. A good technologist will try a number of techniques to get around this, but in many patients, it's just not possible with older scanners. With DLR, the same images are processed and have reduced image noise and improved image quality. It is therefore possible to extend the life of an older CT scanner, possibly even allowing older CT scanners to perform multiphasic or extended scans that were not previously possible. If you have an older CT scanner, you have two potential options. You can replace the scanner with something new and shiny and spend a lot of money doing this. Or you can add DLR to your department's tool belt for a nominal cost and extend the life of that scanner. DLR provides another critical option during this financial crisis caused by COVID. Another benefit of DLR is reduced radiation dose. Low-dose CT is commonly used for lung cancer screening. However, in this case, the images were obtained with high radiation dose and generate nice looking images. The penalty for this is the high radiation dose. In this separate image acquisition, the radiation dose was reduced by nearly 90%. These images have low quality due to high image noise. DLR can be used to reduce the noise and obtain high quality images from this low radiation dose scan. Do you see any abnormality in the image? I can see this ground glass opacity on the high quality image from DLR, but can't see it on the low quality image. This is Waldo. We don't want to miss Waldo and don't have to with DLR. The image on the left was obtained with high radiation dose and looks okay. The image on the right was obtained with greater than 75% reduction in the radiation dose and looks horrible due to high image noise. However, with DLR, the noise from the low radiation dose scan is substantially reduced, leading to improved image quality that is comparable to the full radiation dose scan on the left. DLR is a revolutionary tool in image processing and allows for substantially reduced radiation dose. Radiation dose is most important in screening exams and in pediatric patients. This pediatric patient had a low radiation dose scan. The images on the left are noisy and of low quality. After DLR, the same image acquisition has reduced image noise and improved image quality. Look at the liver, for example and notice the reduced image noise. Here's an abdominal CT scan at 2.5 millimeter slice thickness that has been reconstructed with filtered back projection versus DLR. The image quality is improved by DLR. Let's look at 1.5 millimeter slice thickness and now 0.6 millimeter. The image quality for the filtered back projection images continuously declines as we move to thinner slices due to higher image noise. This is expected. However, the image quality with DLR is maintained, even with thinner slices. Now let's compare 2.5 mm slice thickness with filtered back projection to 0.6 mm slice thickness with DLR. If we take a close look, the thin slice images with DLR have similar image quality. DLR does not obey the normal rules of slice thickness and allows for high resolution CT imaging with minimal or no penalty. Here is a quick DLR technical summary. DLR lowers image noise, increases the contrast to noise ratio, and increases image quality. DLR also maintains Helmsfeld unit linearity and improves low contrast detectability. This is not magic, but is simply a benefit of deep learning solving a complex problem. Deep learning CT image reconstruction has a number of current uses, including improving image quality, 
extending the life of a CT scanner, which saves money, decreasing radiation dose, and facilitating high-resolution imaging. Given the improvement in image quality, it is reasonable to predict that DLR will soon be shown to improve diagnostic accuracy and improve productivity by reducing radiologist evaluation time. Let's look at the benefits of DLR another way. DLR reduces image noise. This leads to improvement in CT image quality. This allows for improved accuracy or reduced radiation dose. DLR can extend the usable life of a CT scanner. The improved image quality can improve the efficiency of a radiologist by reducing read times. Both of these save costs, which essentially pays for the DLR software. If you are now interested in DLR for CT image reconstruction, and you should be, you might be wondering how you can get it. There are two main options. GE and Canon Medical offer this technology on their most recent scanners. You may be able to upgrade your scanners if you had a recent purchase, or if you are planning your next purchase. This is likely an expensive approach. To my knowledge, this technology is not available by Siemens or Philips. Further, this would only get you DLR on one or some of your scanners. The other approach is to choose a vendor-neutral solution. This would allow you to have DLR on any or all of the scanners that you choose to activate the service on. This is also a cost-effective approach. I hope you enjoyed this brief review of deep learning CT image reconstruction. We used a few examples to understand how DLR could be used to reduce image noise. We covered several benefits of DLR, including improving image quality, extending the life of a CT scanner, and reducing radiation dose. We also discussed how DLR could potentially improve diagnostic accuracy and productivity, both by providing high quality images that otherwise would not be available. If you'd like to learn more about this technology, visit Algomedica's website. They offer a practical, inexpensive, vendor-neutral DLR solution.